Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to the Dark Side Detective. And using our awesome Viewmaster, check this out. We have the ghosts of literary giants floating among the rooms of the library here. We've got Douglas Adams and Terry Pratchett. I definitely wanted to talk to them first. I read your detective books wonderfully over the top. Aw. Oh, hey. I'm a big fan of your work. Thanks. N not you. Oh. Oh, we can't talk to them. That sucks. Well, we can talk to Blighton, right? I fear I find myself in the company of a rather dreadful bunch. Rotters. The lot of them. The kid? No, he's charming. I mean the others. Occultists, horror writers, and DIY fanatics. Horrors, the lot of them. Indeed. So there's no ghost downstairs. We went ahead and checked that. Um... I guess we can go into the DIY room. Because we didn't talk to... Gale. Interesting. Before we talk to Gale, though, let's check this room. Turning duct tape into pants. Make your nether sustainable. Things you can fill jam jars with. Volume 3. Or mason jars, as they call them over here. Whittling dice out of larger dice. Detective the Inspectioning. Investigative role-playing in the world of Dark Side. Yes! VTM reference. I want to play that. Hardwood and where to find it. Uh-huh. Planking with Plinkman. One of mine, that. What's it about? Laying hardwood floors. Part of a series, it were. Oh, I think she may have an accent. I'm not sure which one, though. I see they also have plonking with Plinkman, planking with Plinkman, and plunking with Plinkman. Uh, I think I see a theme here. Brand synergy, ain't it? Why no plinking with Plinkman? Oh, that, <laughs> That's in adult section, if you catch my meaning. I see. Oh, whoops. Well, let's go ahead and talk to her. Are you an author too? I don't recognize you. I oh, I think she might be, like, Scottish. Aye, but not like a young toughs with your literary fiction. I wrote useful stuff, like house wiring and how to do own plumbing. Think you could fix the elevator? With right gear I could, I... I need a new button, mind. Well, we have a button right here for you. What's all this for? Could you use this button to fix the elevator? I can, but won't do nothing. Needs to be conductive to make circuit work. Alrighty. Um, he looks like he's jumping. You jump too if somebody shoved a pole up your behind. That's true. Somebody seems to have left some glue here. It's no duct tape, but it could be useful. Wait a minute. These are printouts of children's art. Look at Mr. Moneybags in his deep pockets. Rich enough that he can pay child artists for original works, this guy. Jeez. Oh. Why are these fake? Well, you can't have kids painting over the books. That's actually true. So, we've got the... Let's see if we can give the metal strip. That's conductive to Gale. Come on, Frankie, you can do better than that. Use the metal with the button. This should make the button conductive. You received item conductive button. Oh, fair enough. Could this button replace the broken one in the elevator? Let me see. Looks like it'll do job. Gives a few minutes to pop it in place. There she goes. What was this old library card? The library card of one smug-faced Paul Conway. 
a tube of hobby glue. So is she in here? Uh, this is just like, or kind of, like, um, oh, what was that one point-and-click adventure game I played with the ghost in the elevator? Thimbleweed Park. Thanks for fixing the elevator, Gail. I'm happy to help. It was fun doing something useful again. And there she went. I knew the button was going to go here, I just didn't know how. So... Oh look! Doris must have finally fixed the elevator button. No, it was... Never mind. Window, book carts... Horror. A collection of books that don't seem to fit anywhere else in the library, like... How to Cook a Dinosaur, if you ever catch one. The Internet and Other Fads. Architecture of the Mind by Sarah Bellum. <laughs> and MMO Accountancy. Be the fictional banker you always knew you were. Um, I have a friend of mine who probably wrote that book. Looks like you can get to the roof through here. Well, thankfully it's locked. I'd rather not go back out in that storm. Which means we're eventually going to go out in that storm. Oh, it's... it's Poe. Okay, um... hmm. You barely make teenage girls whimper, Howie. Oh, it's Lovecraft! Only because they cannot fathom the dread I conjure, Eddie. You play on common clichés. Your penny dreadfuls lack true horror. At best, they're spooky pulp. Your best works aren't even written by you. Charlatan. Fraud. Undead trickster. If you feel that way, then why did you hide my work, Eddie? Again, I say, I do not have your book. You probably hid it because it was too scary for you. Gah! You're an infuriating man. I figured they'd get along. Apparently not. So we got... Oh, this is a huge book section. Creepy bookshelf. And this is one creepy looking bookshelf. I didn't know what to expect. These are one hell of that atmospheric fire hazard. Well, let's just go down the list here. It's alphabetical. This is like the largest section in the entire library. Though I guess it makes sense. From Axes to Zero Oxygen. A murderer's primer. He's behind you! Animal Allotment. Stephen Dukes the Ankle Biters. Bemoners from Beyond the Grave. Alibi Soup. <laughs> the butler did it. The Dead Person Murders. Calvin ate a cop. Where was Hobbs? Did you kill them? I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you too. You were out last time. <laughs> Very Dark Places, an illustrated guide. <laughs> the Compendium of Inept Deaths. The Darwin Awards. Everyone's Guilty. The Fast Car Killers. The Followers. Erroneous Castrations. Ugh. The Diary of Evelyn Snokes, The Girl Who Chokes. Haunted Place. They've Gone to Buy Poison. <gasps> How They All Died. Goodness me, he's dead. Henry Hamfist, the Punch to Death Champion of 1934, a biography. <laughs> now that's a that's a book that should be made into a movie. It kills. Just quit. Jugular wounds, an illustrated story. Hmm. A guide to journaling your own death. I think uh, Lovecraft read that one. I touched its face! Jobs you're not good enough for. Lemons for every meal. The kickboxing cult. 
The Lackluster Murders, Cannibal Carnival, ugh, with two Ks, Late Train Made Me Late, Life Robber, Murder, Ninja Zombies and Other Terrible Crossovers, Amen. Morals? No thanks. Never look in the fridge. Sound life advice. Madman kills a person. No, don't do it! Nanny nightmare. Map to murder. The pain giver. These all sound like Rick and Morty um, episodes, some of them. Places to die in. Places to not die in. Very important to have the set. The Origami Massacres. The Pain Giver. And, ah, cool. The Quirky Killings. The Rash That Wouldn't Clear. Quickly Hide! The Revenger. Quay 666. The Quirky Killings. Okay. Stab Fest. Six. Had to remember my Roman numerals. Everywhere snakes. Tomorrow the world implodes. That's a Rick and Morty episode. Scary book volume four. The trundling. The underwhelmer. Vivian's hatchet. Vet's revenge. Where's Walto's body? <laughs> I want that printed. Vanity Kills. The Underwhelmer again. They Yearn for Blood. X Marks the Victim. Unzip the Body Bag. The Yog Hurt Vat... The Yogurt Vat Drownings. Zesty Recipes for Evidence Disposal. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we talk to... Let's talk to Lovecraft. He has been such a child. I am clearly the greater horror writer. I tore apart the minds of a generation with my atheistic horror. With your atheistic rubbish. Right, I'll have you, mate. Come at me, you sickly twerp. You two, stop it, or I'll put you both in some kind of supernatural slammer. He started it. Oh, I never. It was you and your... I don't care who started it. I'm putting a stop to it. Wait right here. And not a peep. Man, McQueen has some authoritative tones. Okay, so, um... How do we make them... How do we make them stop arguing? What's going on here? I didn't take his blasted book. It was that childish blighten woman. Why don't you tell him that? He will not listen to me. He's convinced I hid it so more people would borrow my books over his. Nonsense. I care not for his curtain zeitgeist. My works are vastly superior. Eh, don't know about that. I like Lovecraft a lot more than I like Poe. Though I do like Poe, though. So... Lighten was over here near the Weeping Angel. Oh, the big book with the L on it. Imagine that. Excuse me, did you steal Lovecraft's book? He and that Poe fellow won't stop fighting over which one has the more frightful book. I took his book in the hopes it would stop their arguing. It seems to have just made it worse. Well, I shan't give it back until they stop their silly bickering. I just shan't. How am I meant to stop those two fighting? That is not my concern. You want this book, you stop their fight. There's got to be a scarier book than theirs around here. Surely that would stop their bickering. Okay. Um. Let's see if Doris has anything. That was the name of the librarian, right? And, whoa. That's a lot of options. I'd like to borrow that book. 
Oh lord, we're gonna get Poe and Lovecraft the Twilight ripoff? I'd like to borrow that book you're reading. You need a library card to borrow books. Can I sign up for one? Um, uh, no. I'm too busy reading my book to help. Saz. Dooley, can I use your card? It still has fines on it. I bet you wish you'd let me make a deal now, huh? Why is the window onto the roof locked? For health and safety reasons. Can I get the key? Afraid not. Why? For health and safety reasons. Can I have the internet password, please? And give you access to all my juicy manuscripts? No chance. Doris, I need that password for my investigation. And I need those books kept safe until my genius is recognized, so, no. If you need anything else, I'll be here, unless I'm not. That's okay, we've got a library card right here, though I really doubt this is going to work. I'd like to borrow that book you're reading. You need a library card to borrow books. Like this one? Like this one, yes. Oh good. But not this one. It's not yours. You're not e it's not even your face on it. Hmm. So... Oh, 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 okay. Now we use the photocopier. I really don't want to put my face on here. But I really need a picture of myself. Things I do for this job. Photocopy. And the picture I photocopied of my face. Now, do we have to go take this... We don't have the scissors anymore. Let's, uh... Let's try putting the glue. Uh, I feel like I'm back in kindergarten art class. You received item sticky photo. This is going to be the least convincing fake ID I've seen in all of my years as a cop. You received item fake library card. Oh, he used too much glue. A badly photocopied picture of my face poorly glued onto a library card that clearly belongs to somebody else. I'd say that this wouldn't work, but I've been around the block enough try times to try it out. Indeed. I'd like to borrow that book. Like this one? Oh. Well then, here you go, Paul. Paul? His name is... My name is Paul. L like it says on the card. My card. Paul, Paul, Paul. He received item trashy novel. And... Oh, it's holding a banana. Milo Stevenson's reverse vampire novel, Guy Light. Even holding it makes me ill. Indeed. Back up to horror. Let's, uh, go ahead and hand this off. Is this my book? No, it is not. What is it? The most horrific novel ever written, and it's not written by either of you. Let me see that. Teenaged girl, blah blah blah, reverse vampire, blah blah blah. It sounds terrifying. Its mere existence gives me shivers. Do you agree it's more horrific than your works? Will you stop squabbling? Agreed. Agreed. Can you believe something so hideous exists? Can you believe it's so popular? Stoker must be turning in his grave. I hope the poor chap doesn't know. Well, they're gone, but now what? I guess I could tie up some of the other ghost loose ends. Were they hiding anything? No? Well, we made... All the ghosts are gone except for... Adams and Pratchett. And... Blighton here. Oh, we can get the Lovecraft book now. I've gotten them to agree on the scariest book. Can I have that novel now? Good. 
I daren't see why you'd want this file thing, but I did promise. Here. You received item Lovecraft novel. Aw, uh, you ruined the kid's illusion, detective. Excellent. Now, what do I use this for? Aw. Man, I really wish we could talk to Adams and Pratchett. I guess we could... Oh, Crowley. Crowley and, uh, Eats here. Again I say that you and I, sir, shall not converse while Crowley lurks awaiting a slip of my tongue. I met your friend, Yeats. He says you won't stop spying on him. I find it most joyous to torment the man. He says you want into that room you mentioned. I do. I am most bored here. I need something to do. Something to read. Why not use that computer to go online? Two words. Safe search. Oh. Right. Maybe I can find some kind of a workaround? Please. Just stay here and don't do anything. Because we had the uh-uh-uh. Well, she's on a laptop. Raxa, you mentioned you were looking for stuff on the internet. How did you get past the internet blocks? Oh, that's right, she was. Up to something naughty, detective? Me? Uh, no, but I have this friend who needs to get past the library firewall. Well, that's quite well protected, surprisingly. I think Doris was worried somebody would hack into and steal her unpublished fanfiction. But I figured out the admin password so I can bypass the block. She's talented. Want me to give it to you so you can use it too? Please. Admin password. One, two, three, four. That's amazing, I have the same combination on my luggage. The password for Doris's internet block. Is Crowley gonna look up porn? Now Crowley should be able to browse to his heart's content. I'll let him know. Oh, I wanted to go online. Okay, I set it up that you should be able to browse whatever you want. No restrictions. Excellent. You, um, you may not want to stick around for this. Right. I'll leave you to your business, so shut the door on your way out. Ugh, ectoplasm everywhere. Did I sense? Yes, the beast's eyes are focused elsewhere. The air is clearer now. Well, clearer is not the term I'd use. Come again, sir? Uh, never mind. Just don't go into that room if you can avoid it. As you suggest? Now, what's this all, all this about a hidden room? I'll share what I can. There's a place hidden behind the horror section on the fourth floor. The source of the phantasmic pollution afflicting this building is within. How do I get in? One of the books in the L section is a lever. Pull it and fix this. Godspeed, man. Hear that, Dooley? Hear what? Oh, right, of course. Uh, we need to get to the fourth floor and open the secret room using one of the books in the L section. Wait, how do you know all this? Intuition? And there he goes. So that's what the Lovecraft book is for. Okie dokie. And yeah, there's a uh, empty slot right here. The book Eats mentioned is missing. I didn't know you were a fan of Lovecraft. Hmm? You're looking at the Lovecraft section. A bit too godless for my tastes. A Lovecraft novel, you say? So, Dooley will read Lovecraft. So, he, he, he reads Love or he's read Lovecraft, didn't really like it, but he likes Doctor Who, so good on him. Here goes nothing. That seemed to fit with a curious clicking noise. A lever. Pull the lever, Dooley. <laughs> Wrong lever! Right. 
we pull this and Doo -doo 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 -doo. well there's the hidden door Yeats and Crowley were talking about creepy doorways are a recurring motif I'm not too fond of let me guess you're staying here to cover me again you got it in one detective try to avoid getting knocked out this time and a spooky doorway. Alright guys, well, I will go ahead and end it here, and when we get back, we will head into this and uh, see what we find. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.